Let us now understand the various type of inequalities which are required to solve questions from ordering. For example, let us assume that we are comparing the heights of two persons A and B and the statement says A is neither taller than nor equal to B. So we can understand that A is shorter than B or A is less than B. Similarly, suppose a given statement is A is neither shorter than nor equal to B. So we can say that A is taller than B or A is greater than B. A is neither taller nor shorter than B. From this, we can understand that A is as tall as B or A is equal to B because A is neither taller nor shorter than B. Moving on to the next one, the statement says A is not taller than B. When he says A is not taller than B, there are two possible cases. A can be shorter than B or A can be as tall as B. That is A is equal to B. So we can say that A is shorter than or equal to B. That is A less than or equal to B. Similarly, the statement can be A is not shorter than B. So when A is not shorter than B, he can be taller or equal to B. That is A greater than or equal to B. Moving on to the next one here, A is as tall as B. Remember, the phrase as tall as or as heavy as when we are comparing weight means A is same as B. So we can say that A is equal to B. And the last one here is A is not as tall as B. Very important, when he says A is not as tall as B, understand that A is only shorter than B. Apart from the inequalities that we have just discussed, the other important point which we need to understand to solve questions from ordering is the keyword only. Whenever the word only is given in a, in a statement, whenever the word only is there in a given statement, it has a different meaning. Let's take an example. Let's say the given statement is A is shorter than B. So here we can understand that A is less than B. A is shorter than B. But now you look at the second statement. A is shorter than only B. Now when the word only is present in the given statement, it means that A is shorter than B but at the same time, the other important point which we need to understand here is B is the tallest person in their group. B is the tallest person in the group. For example, let's say there are five persons A, B, C, D and E in a group where A is shorter than only B. That means the remaining three persons C, D and E are shorter than A which clearly indicates that B is the tallest person and we can also say that A is the second tallest person. In a similar manner when he says A is taller than B it has a direct meaning saying that A is taller than B. But in case the word only is used saying A is taller than only B we can understand that A is greater than B but then B is the shortest person in the group and A is the second shortest person in the group. To understand this statement, let us say that there are five persons A, B, C, D and E in the group. The statement says A is taller than only B. That means A is not taller than the remaining three persons C, D and E, which means the persons C, D and E are taller than A. So it clearly means B is the shortest person in the group and A is the second shortest. So friends, from these examples, try to understand that the sentence A is shorter than B is different from the sentence A is shorter than only B. Let us now take an example based on the inequalities and the keyword only that we have just learned. The question here is among B, F, J, K and W each having a different weight F is heavier than only J. B is heavier than F and W but not as heavy as K. Who among them is second heaviest? 
So here we are supposed to arrange the given five persons based on their weight and find out who among them is the second heaviest person. Now based on the inequalities and the keyword only that we have just learned, let us try to make an ascending order of these persons based on their weight. So the first statement here is among B, F, J, K and W each has a different weight. That means no two persons are equal in weight. Moving on to the next point, it says F is heavier than only J. So as already discussed, when the given statement says F is heavier than only J, we can understand that F is greater than J and J is the lightest person. And we can say that F is the second lightest person. The next statement says B is heavier than F and W. That means B is greater than F and W. But not as heavy as K. That means B is not as heavy as K. When B is not as heavy as K, we can say that B is lighter than K. So we say B is less than K. And from this we have to find out who among them is second heaviest. So arranging the given five persons in ascending order, we can say that the lightest person in the group is J. And we also know that the second lightest person is F. So we can say that J is less than F. And then we know that B is greater than F and W. So we can say F and W are F and W are shorter than F and W are lighter than B. And as already F is second lightest, we can say that W should be heavier than F and then B should be heavier than W. And from the last point, we know that B is lighter than K. So including that in the order, we get B is lighter than K. So now the ascending order in terms of weight for these five persons is J lesser than F j lighter than f lighter than w lighter than b lighter than k so very clearly j is the lightest person and k is the heaviest person we can say that j is the lightest person and k here is the heaviest person and the question is who among them is second heaviest so to find out the second heaviest person we need to come from the heaviest side so we can say that the second heaviest person in this group is B. So the answer is B. Similarly, suppose we need who among these persons is second lightest. So we need to come from the lighter side and we can say that the person F is second lightest in this group. So friends, this is how we can solve questions based on ordering by either forming an ascending order or descending order of the given group of persons.